Hello everyone, this is Stefan and I'm Pot. This is episode 3 of my Oblivion Let's Play in preparation for Skyrim coming out in November 11th of the 11th year past 2000. Anyway, um, in the space of the second and the third video which I'm on now, uh, I made a boo-boo. Um, wrong save, in fact. I um, don't know how to say it. I told Garthia to sort his own problems out and uh, he's a bit nuts and he's went and grabbed the battle axe and I think he's going to go and kill someone. So me, myself and I, we're going to have to go to Bennett's house and we're going to have to stop him. Just have to oh, okay, Garthia. The only way now. Bennett, sorry love, if you wake up. And to think I trusted you. You never trust. Right, when you wake up, you'll see a dead body. Don't freak out. You've just gone to the loony bin. So, I love your shit. Right, time to go. Steve his house. Well, left his house. Is that even the term? Anyway, I'm gonna steal stuff from his house so I can sell it to the Grey Fox. Oh, he's got a lot of books, man. A lot of books. I never actually uh, told Garthia to sort his own problems out, so that was quite surprising when I told him to do that. I love his gold. I hope I can nick his house. That'd be good if he stole, if you killed someone in the next game, on the next Elder Scroll game, you could uh, get the deed to the house, and um, that would be your house. Or well, in fact. You could just buy any house you wanted to buy, but the person, depending on how much they liked you, would sell it, or if they would sell it for a high price or a low price. That's a quite a big chest, isn't it? It's like, I could fit in it. Look, it's huge. Ah, it doesn't matter. And Chris has just called. Sorry about that. Oh, right, we're gonna try the, the Harden. Got a technique, you see. You do it a couple of times, and then when you feel it's right, you don't. You press. Okay. Oh, it's it's nervous here. I'm still a novice. Oh, first time, first time, very first time. Right. I, I'm wired. I know what I'm doing now. Wired's not the correct term, but I am very happy, man. Um, what a drop. Probably it's a fine iron mace. I really didn't need it. I just thought it'd be good. All right, own chest. <laughs> well, I'm very happy. Right. Oh, an average lock. No. We'll just steal some stuff. I was thinking about getting the uh, Shiver and Isles for this one, but I've got it on my PS3 and. Uh, I like going on my PS3 for that. I mean, I never really play my PS3. I don't think Chris does either. Um, it's kind of there. I think Chris actually sold his, so I uh, wouldn't be surprised if he just can't play his because he hasn't got his. Anyway, I'll uh, loot these coins and then we'll be off. Unless I can sleep in his... Oh, right. Well, it doesn't matter. Quick way down. Full of ingenious ideas, I am. Uh, right. Run by augers or orcs. Not too sure. That loading area. It always loads when you come out of this area. Alright. Um, I'm going to go find a bed and uh, we're going to go to sleep. Because I think, if I'm not too sure, if I'm not mistaken, I should say. My uh, my killing was observed by unknown force or a dark presence or something. So we're gonna do me old trick. Get up. Come to talk to me, love. Come on, talk to me. Nothing. Okay. I wanted to steal your bed. There we are. See, crafty. Crafty, very, very crafty. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. <gasps> Explain yourself now. 
In due time. In due time. In due time. First, an introduction. I am Lucy. Oh, very nice to meet you. Pity you're a blood thirsty murderer. I am not a bloodthirsty murderer. I just want your stuff. Capable of taking life without mercy or remorse. And so, here I am. And so, here I, I am. With an offering. An upper. Ah. Very happy now, aren't you? Right, Rufio will die by my hand. So I got a nice ebony blade, but no one is um, the blade of war. I don't even know what war means, but we'll go with it. Um, shall be equipped. And I'm only going to go and kill this dude because I want the army you get when you, when you join the Dark Brotherhood. Is it the Black... No, it's the Dark Brotherhood, then it's the Black Hand, and then you get his job. Sorry to ruin it if you haven't played the game, but... Uh, I don't know. Um. Oh, there you are. Prior Mabel's Paint Horse. Away we go! Got hurt, didn't you, boy? Someone shot an electric ball, didn't the boy? At you? Is it a? It's probably a girl. Didn't the girl shot an electric ball at you? Didn't the girl? Ah, I'm gonna cut the video for now until um, we we'll make it to this place, and I'll see you in a bit then. Bye bye. I have arrived. I'm at the inner Ville Omen, uh, ready to kill some old dude named Rufio. Rufio? Yeah, it's Rufio. Right. I, I, in the space of me getting here, I undressed myself so I could run a bit faster and I got rid of the horse because I ran faster than the horse anyway, so the horse was not needed. Um, other than that, no, nothing else. Uh, I saw a couple of deers and I tried to kill them. I ended up losing two arrows, so uh, I decided I would try and kill them. That's a horrible name for an inn, I know, but I just can't Eyes bring are too close to together. Besides, Mother must have like drank well. She was pregnant. Rufio, he's an old codger. Been it's a northern term. Weeks now. Yes, me, he's hiding from something. Yes, me. But what do I care? His room is downstairs. Uh huh. Farewell, and tell your friends. The Inn of Ill Omen is open for business, as always. It's a bit out in the sticks. I mean, I wouldn't really venture here for me family vacation. Doesn't seem like a very, uh, friendly neighbourhood. Now, do I kill him straight away? Or shall I talk to him? After I'll talk to him. Hello, Rufio. Who are you? No, please. I didn't mean to do it, you understand me? She struggled. The... I, I told her to just stay still, but she wouldn't listen. I had no choice. You... Uh, I don't know. Dirty beggar. I'll take your pants as well. And then it looked like you played with yourself and uh, you died because of that. Okay. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little sleepy in your bed, and then Lucy and the Chance will come and talk to us, and I will go and visit the dark sanctuary so, the in Trading Hall. How do I the deed is done. As a speaker of the Black Hand, <coughs> directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that. I wanted to find out where the other ones were. Because they're in every city, apparently, and I don't know where they are. We must now take our leave of each other. You and I. I will be following your work progress. Die. Welcome to the I'll family. Okay. Covenant. Mm -hmm. The five tenants and all these you don't kill. It's the same in every guild. It's a bit repetitive, but then again, this game is the best for a long time. It's been uh, faithful to me. And there's a glitch here as well. Sometimes there's an uh, Imperial, Imperial Ranger that likes to shoot his arrows here. And uh, it's a bit like the guy in a. Uh, the arena in the Imperial District. You can just steal arrows and it's like a constant stream of steel arrows for you, so it's alright. It's all nice. Oh. 
Here we go. I think it's best to get your in fame out of the way. Then you can focus on your fame aspect where you can get more stuff off people. So uh yeah, that's that's my series on the on the game. Zombies are ugly on this game. Not that I've seen a pretty zombie before, but uh I think there would be from up a bit. Let's give him some kind of genitalia. What is it now? Never spoke to you in my life. What could be it? <coughs> oh, I need to pick pop, pick lock this. Good thing I've just forget it, forget it, forget it. Oh, it's unfortunate. We're all out of tea bags. Can you believe it? Yeah, no tea bags. Gotta drink seven up. Stars. Bit random, but uh, you know, we'll go with it. Oh, AMD drivers have stopped working. That's that happens quite often. Welcome home. Hello. Greetings, brother. You stand now in our sanctuary. The sentient lizard Can't speaks to me. Your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need. When you're ready. But now I've. Oh, thank you, Lord. Lucy. Crowded armor. Go now. To well, thank you, Night Mother, because you're the one who gave me these gifts. I look absolutely spiffing. Ah, uh, baby. I'm happy, very happy. This episode uh, could end right now and I'd be still very happy. Hello, brother. Hello, sister. But why, sister? What's the point? Hello, sister, who's very tall and uh, not that jealous. Hello, brother. Uh, it's getting a bit boring. I'll just call him by the names. And I don't like that guy either. He doesn't like me either, apparently. Ah, right. Taught uh, Vincent to you. Three. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtier. Vicente Altare. I provide assignments Altare. for all new family members. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. Please do not Please let my appearance unnerve you. My own needs as a vampire. Now, if you're ready to get Looks to work, like Vlad of Magica. With your first contract. Guess that's what they were looking for. A contract is a secret pact one enters into with the Dark Brotherhood. They provide us with gold, and we remove someone from existence. Uh, a contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin such I've as I've had no training. I'm just there. The killed someone accidentally. Well, so I'm purposely accidentally. She was. He was going to kill While someone, so it wasn't my fault. You may have the opportunity to well, earn well, well, it was my fault. But... Parameters are met. I'm not sure how you feel about <coughs> pirates, but you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his ship, surrounded by his crew. Excellent. I know how to do it the easy way, anyway. Go to the waterfront. Oh, tell you what. As a pirate, Gaston Toussaint has certainly spilled his share of blood. Eh, uh, the to get the night mother or an introduction ceremony to the uh, people that kill the dark. Like, I'll start that again. The sacrimony, the sacrament, the, the ritual to get the Dark Brotherhood to get in contact with you is actually the hilarious thing possible on the game. The bend over, stab a doll and say, Night Mother, come to me, with blood around them, and I, I found that hilarious. Other people would find that weird and demented, but I found it hilarious. And with that high note, I'll end the episode. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment if you think I'm worth it. And, uh, Check out Chris's videos. We do dual comedies together because we're on the same channel. And we'll see. I'll see you there. Bye bye.